This is going to be a more complicated video. I'm going to try my best to explain some of it. Building this sucks. And uh, philosophy behind it is uh, extremely complicated to understand. But basically, I think Tom Bearden is correct saying that the power companies generate free energy all the time and we're just grounding it and the way it works and whatnot. I think he's correct. I think it does work like that. And here's my demonstration. I have it all set up where it should be scalable, but it's going to suck to build out this coil rig. Okay, but anyway, this battery is just powering this Arduino. And this Arduino is powered from a computer. My voltage sources on the Arduinos cannot be the same because the ground of this board needs to be tied to the positive of this board. So I'm not going to get all into that right in this video. This is a pretty hairy circuit. And being careful, I blew up so many parts trying to figure out what works, what doesn't, and how it has to be. Anyway, okay, this board is powering a choke. <clears throat> Just a transformer, the secondary is open. It's just one side of the transformer. Okay? Then this H bridge, the power leads are connecting to the positive of this H bridge, both of them. Okay? And that's flipping polarity into the transformer rig. Um, the whole thing is capturing back EMF and increasing magnetism free and having everything you pull reverse lens okay so here's my driving amperage at 12 volts lock the supply supply is locked at 12 volts this is my driving amperage 0.822 milliamps uh amps 0.8 amps 0.822 i'm just watching the voltage on my H bridge because I don't want to blow another one up. If this goes over 25, 27, I gotta turn it off. <clears throat> I don't want to blow money more up, so I'm just monitoring that for safety precautions. Okay. These two outer ones <clears throat> are the drivers. Okay. These two here are the pickup coil. Now this needs a lot of pickup coils because it's scalable and every pickup coil you add takes more and more off the input and starts self-powering. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to unhook the pickup coils totally. Watch what happens to the amperage. 1.2 amps. Now I'm going to create a magnetic field. Boom. Now I just powered it, sent all that power, it drops to 0.8. Okay, so as you see in the beginning, pulling a load drops your input. So I'm going to unhook it, watch, boom, unhooked, 1238, hooked up, 0.821. So pulling a load is already lowering your input. Now the more load you pull, the lower your input goes, but the power to your system stays the same. Watch. 19.1. Unhooked. 19.5. Barely any change. Hooked up. 19.1. It barely affects this at all. Okay, now I got the scope hooked up to a pickup coil out here. It's not hooked up to anything, it's just open. This is just to measure the magnetism in this rig. Okay, so right now, that coil's picking up 1.93 volts. Now I'm gonna short the pickup coil. Watch what happens to the magnetic field. Three point three let it go 1.94 so taking power and same thing with a resistor taking power 
puts more magnetic field into those bars and amplifies everything. So the more power you take from this, the more magnetic field is in those bars. Okay, now watch my input amperage. Now I'm going to hold the phone with one hand and I'm going to short it. Ready? Short. Dot 809, unshort. Dot 820. It's taking power. It's taking power lowers your input. Whatever you take from it lowers your input. Magnetic fields increase. Ground of this H bridge is into the positive of here. So everything you take from here sends it back into the driving circuit and keeps the homeostasis and the magnetic field just grows for free. And you could keep harvesting that magnetic field again and again and again and again and get this driving amperage lower and lower and lower. Now remember, I was just shorting it. It goes much lower if you direct this power into the input. But we're not doing it. We're just shorting it, wasting it. And boom. Now if I direct that into here, it goes to like 730 milliamps. Maybe 750. And that's all with one pickup coil. So this needs to, these need to be in series, or they should be, I guess. I, there's probably other configurations that would work. Now, you can't connect the ends of the bars. Because you have a north and a south. Or a south and a north, and they're switching. If you connect the ends of the bars and close this like a transformer, the magnetic field no longer grows because it grounds back into itself. It loops in. You don't want it to loop in. You want it to have to take the path to get to the other side through a transformer or an electromagnet. When it has to go through there, all like poles grow the magnetic field as it pulls power. So, when I add another pickup coil next, I'll get that output and more magnetic field in here, and this output would increase. So, it's cascadable and it goes by the powers. Now, I don't have enough laminated iron. As you see, I'm using steel bars, hollow bars, and they suck. I was using hollow steel cores and my output got a lot better once I put the laminated iron in there so the eddy currents are rocking you with this eddy currents work against you here but yeah so that's the setup and that's the direction we're going